Um, oh God, what's his name? It's bad for me. Big shoulders, white ball guy. Big shoulders, white ball guy. That that narrows it down to about <laughs> a thousand. <people. laughs> <laughs> Gigantic spot on my head. So, well, that's what puberty does to you. Isn't it? I mean, finally, must be going to, maybe I'll grow some arms now. Uh, do you like my T-shirt? I thought I'd dress for the occasion. I know it's very, very thoughtful of you. Of Did course. you buy that especially for this? I got it from the the old classic. Actually, uh, oh, what year was this? It's probably 2011, 2012. Okay, so it's an original. Looks brand new. Previous band of classic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, first. Right, yeah. should we ready to start? Let's yeah. do it. Okay, so welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, it has been a while. I can't remember last time I did a podcast. It's probably been over over a month, but I've been busy, as you know, all traveling, traveling around the world, training with many, many superstars. But I'm back now, back in my office, back in the studio. And today's session, we're going to talk about the Arnold UK, which is next weekend. So it's currently, it is the 14th, so it's Wednesday the 14th, so we're about 10 days out from the Arnold. And there's obviously a lot of hype building up to it. Uh, I know a lot of people are talking about the show and who's going to be winning. So I just want to get your predictions for next week's show. And let's, let's talk about who's in the show first and uh, the lineup. I know, Joe, you sent me the lineup earlier. I know it has grown since yeah. then. Few dropout so, additions, but that's the basis of it anyway. Okay, so um, so we start straight in. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Who's no, your, let's, go, right, let's go. Let's go top six go. first. Let's go top six. You're gonna pull the lineup up. Yeah, I'm gonna call the lineup. Um, men's bodybuilding. You got a guy called Andrea Muzi. I've never heard yeah. of him. Where's he from? Italy. He just Italy. came. Uh, just came third in the Italy show this weekend. Okay. So he's done about well. seven shows this year already. Okay. So is he um any good? Yeah, he's good. Top top three to top five in every show he does, so Okay. Very good. First time as well. Okay. First time. Another Andre good. Prest Andre Presti. Yeah. He won what show did he won? I think he's won two shows this year. I'm glad I've got you on there because I wouldn't have a clue about these people. <laughs> <laughs> he's won two. He's won one, Simon, definitely. Simon, Simon doesn't keep up with the Lord in you guys. No, <laughs> no, I don't. I need to. I need to. Um... He's um put a lot of size on. Italian guy as well. Okay. Um, put a lot of size on since last year. He won Puerto Rico Pro last year. Got. I think he came last at the Olympia last year, but uh, he's put a lot of size on. I think he's won two shows this year. Um, so nice. then you've got Shirak Alfred Z the... oh yeah Romanian guy Romanian guy yeah saw him compete he's one of Patrick Tour's guys I've seen him I don't think he did the the show last the, the Arnold last year but he's done he, he's, he's quite small he's, he's yeah he's good nice. I like his structure yeah super round you're talking of Vlad right Vlad no yeah, um Shirak. Shiriak. Oh, okay. Different so, guy. That sounds like a food bad. allergy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he's going to appreciate that when he turns up at the gym. I probably won't even know who he is, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I need to get a picture of all the people that are competing and put them on a reception because a lot of people <laughs> are going to be coming in and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like a wanted poster. Well, I thought um, Hassan was competing in this Arnold. What happened? Dropped out. Dropped out. Ah, oh, I was really looking forward to Yeah. Like, did he win a show a few, a few weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did so he win he California? He won California. Maybe. Yeah. But he's qualified for the O anyway, so he's probably just saving himself. Because he's had trouble peaking for shows before, so I'm yeah, guessing that's... he's trying to just hold it out. Okay. Then next we've got, obviously, a crowd favourite, James Hollingshead, who is one of the favourites to win. I know you're a big fan of his, aren't you, Joe? Yeah, I am, yeah. Fan of his physique. Good guy. Uh, yeah, met him many times. So, he's, he's good. He's probably my favourite bodybuilder. Because, structurally, 
show I'm not, you know, it's, it's nice to look up to someone. What do you think to James, uh, Femi, his physique? You know what, I saw his update again recently and I like his new size. It looks kind of, maybe I might be wrong, he looks like he he downsized just a little bit and now his structure and his shape, like Joe said, is amazing. But I, I think from the back, he's not really that good from the back. I might be wrong, but I think... When you say not good, do you mean not, not as lean as the front or not as developed? Or... Yeah, it's not, as, it's not as developed. I think he could still use more lats moving forward. I think because he's not wide structurally, that's his weakness. Yeah. Like when he won Spain yeah. 2020 and the British 2020 as well. His exactly. clavicle width isn't very like that impressive compared to like someone else who we'll get onto in a minute. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. density wise, I don't think anyone in the lineup's gonna yeah. touch him. Density look, and he's it's, two yeah, he's like two seventy as well, which is fucking yeah. crazy. How tall how tall is James? Five eleven. Five eleven is he? Yeah, he's cool. Bigger than me. So it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. very impressive and he's got that sort of grainy hard. You can tell he trains very hard. And heavy, mm-hmm. can't you? Both how thick his physique is, mm-hmm. and uh, I know from the side views, he's, he's sort of improved a lot, like the side tricep that he's been posting. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I it love, doesn't I fall off the, the, s- well. the skates in there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that he seems to take a much more relaxed approach to the prep this year. Sometimes I think that can be a good thing. Um, yeah, as long as you're putting your work in. I mean, what else can you do? A lot of people sort of probably scan the internet and sort of work themselves up and they probably sight themselves out before they, you know, even get to the stage. Well, he's coaching himself this year as well, isn't he? Is he? He's got eyes on him from Patrick and Jordan Peters, but he's sort of taking the approach of, because he's always coming too flat and too stringy compared Mm. to where he could be. And um, so he's been pushing hard. He's got to know his body up by now. Yeah, yeah, of course. He's been competing since he was, what, 18? So he's been competing for 15 years. Yeah, I I first saw... James compete 2012 at the London British sorry London Championships UK BFF and I had a guy in the juniors and uh, I think I told you this before and my guy turned up and and I seen I seen James Hollingshead I'd heard of him but I'd never seen him compete and when they all got on stage and James walked on I thought this guy's in the wrong class he should be this guy should be in the heavyweights because he does not belong in the juniors <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked like a pro amongst amateurs. He was that good. And yeah. I thought, how, how can anyone compete against? I think he was only probably twenty two, two thousand twelve. Yeah, but he had the had, he had the whole stage presence, the tan. He just looked he looked like a pro back then. This was going t- ten years ago. So um, yeah. I, I knew obviously in time he would become professional. So uh, you, you could tell from an early age he was very good. Mm. Yeah. So. Uh, Next, Jamie Joe Howe, Chris, Jamie Christian Joe Howe. Didn't get Six, fourth. Four, five. Yeah, four, yeah. Mm. Came fourth in Italy. Arguably could have placed higher. But it's because his physique, I think it's because his physique is so different to the rest of the lineup. He's either got to be yeah. first or fifth in it, really. Mm. It's one of them. He's got, but, he's, got no, he's got no missing body parts, has he? He's very complete. No. no. But um, I know Actually, Steve fight, Weinberger fight against him. Yeah, Steve Weinberger judged him when he turned pro, um, and obviously Steve's judging the uh, the UK Arnold as well. So he might like that look because we know like okay. big guys. So. I'm gonna speak to Steve because um, I want to do a gym tour at his in December. I'm gonna go to New York. That's one of my. I actually uh, thought you were going to go there, the strip side to Bev Francis gym. Yeah, that's Bev the plan. That's his gym, right? Yeah, Steve. yeah. So um. They own Powerhouse Gym, but Francis Powerhouse in New York. Yeah. And, uh, I think that's definitely on the bucket list for my gyms to visit. I think once I go there, I think I've been to all the gyms that I wanted to go to. Anything else is a bonus. But I know that. Have is... you not been there yet? No, I've never been there. I've been to New York oh, okay. many times, but never to that gym. I think Did it used to be a gold not... gym. Sorry? Did it used to be a gold gym? In New York. Don't yeah, think the, was the powerhouse used to be a gold gym. Oh, now the two different franchises, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jamie. So let's go back to Jamie. Um, very tall. I think. But he didn't. But did he come last year? Did he? Didn't place last year? Did he? The Arnold. Yeah, it was second call out. I think. Yeah, 
So personally, I, I don't. I think there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of people ahead of him. No disrespect to Jamie, but obviously going by physiques, I think um, there's just too many strong names that are going to be above well, in front of him this year. Yeah. And I know his condition will be good, but I think when you get to guys like James and Andrew and Martin, mm-hmm. they're big names, aren't they? Yeah, Mark. Mark, Mark, Mark Martin yeah so I think yeah. he'll probably place out the top six, probably sixth or seventh. That is my prediction. If I'm not mistaken, um, a win in the Arnold can get you qualification to the Olympia. A win yeah, of in course. Arnold. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes. Yeah. All all pro shows are are uh, qualifications for the Arnold, so you got to win. Yeah. You win your class. Yeah. And Before it was top quite, three. It would be quite unfair if Andrew Jack wins it. Then that means going to take that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> is, it, is it already something like? 23 guys already qualified for the Open Mr. Olympia this year anyway, so yeah. there's a lot, a lot of people already qualified. Half the fucking lineup for the show is already qualified, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, but it's that Arnold title, I know it's not the Arnold. Yeah, and it's 40 Arnold, grand as well, so. It's still an Arnold title, yeah, and if you're in shape and 40 grand's uh, yeah. not to be sniffed at. Yeah. No, 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 no. Can't want to sniff it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another guy, one of my, uh, he has not competed for a while. Lionel Biecki. This guy's got a lot of potential. So thick. Um, yeah. I've seen him compete a few times, and it's just he's always sort of probably a few weeks sort of out. Never, never quite sort of gets the uh, that condition yeah. on the day. Yeah. yeah, one of my favourite physiques as well, to be honest. Mm. What, what about you? Think, you um, I yeah. well. Sorry, I haven't seen the guy. Really? You yeah. never heard of him? No, okay, Lionel Bieke. Oh, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't hear you properly. Of course, I love it. Yeah, Lionel. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's he's probably he, just... he did compete for a while as well. He competed, he competed last year in oh. Romania. And he, did, he didn't place at all because he was about fucking ten weeks out or whatever. <laughs> but, but yeah, before when he's when he's in good shape, he's always placing well. Like he places what top six at the Arnold Classic America. Yeah. So yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. He's I think with Lionel, he, he he needs to be com- competing like consistently every year to sort of get that condition. Yeah. When you have too He's long, getting... I know he competed last year, but when you have too long off, it's hard to yeah. get that really dry, grainy look if you have too yeah. long off because your body too um, gets too heavy. He's getting a bit on there with age now. He's got to be pushing forty. Oh, bastard! No, he's been he's been around for a while, if I can remember. Yeah, that. he's competed what two thousand and eleven New York Pro was yeah. one of his. Was it close to his debut back then? I think mm-hmm. 2010, something like that. When they had the blue band. Who, who won 2010 New York Pro? Now was it? Was it Big Ramy? Was it Evan Santapani? It was. It was actually. I was just testing you then. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Joe is good. Joe is very good. He is ah. good. There Taught him well. Shows, there are some shows yes. that Joe had to. He had to let me know what shows were. These shows. Remember the video I sent you the last time with yeah, and Lee. Yeah, that was a great show. That was yeah. awesome. What was that? What was that? Two thousand and two, uh, San, Francisco. San Francisco. Oh, with Valley yeah. Priest and Chris Cormier. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Chris Cormier won that one, didn't he? Lee Priest got second, or was it the way around? No, Lee Priest won. I think. Won. Huh? I can't remember. It's with the red Chris background Cormier. anyway. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to um. Another guy, Joseph Kiveton, is it? Do you know who he is? Yeah, yeah, Czech guy. He turned pro earlier this year at the, one of the British shows, Super Heavyweights. Mm-hmm. Um, smashed everyone to pieces, to be honest, in the lineup. Be a lot of the British guys who were going in there, a lot of hype around them. Okay, um, so he's a new pro. He's a new yeah, he's a new pro. Really freaky, freaky where's, arms where's and he, shoulders. Where's he from? Uh, Czech Republic. Okay. So. Freaky arm, freaky shoulders, oh, big structure. But yeah, I probably know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah, big beard, shaved head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think with the Arnold, sort of the IFBB, NPC, whatever. I think they like they got their sort of favourites, haven't they? When you know, yeah, yeah. there's a new face, yeah. that takes them a while to sort of, yeah. I don't know, um, get the faces known. So they have to do yeah. more and more shows. So it's a good thing that he's That's doing great, this yeah. show to sort of get a bit of. Um, 
get a bit of exposure, I suppose. Well, it's the biggest it's European show, about. really, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, by far, I think, especially after last year. Yeah, last year's show wasn't. I don't. Know, I didn't rate last year's show. To be honest, it was, it, was, it was. It was done well. It was a very nice yeah. spectacle. Obviously, I was there for the, the pro show and that. It's really done. Done really nicely. Oh yeah, Asian Joe. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wear. Sean Ray has messaged me. He's got me a media pass for the oh, pro shit. show. So Usam is going to be having my ticket. Well, okay. He's going to buy it off me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is nice. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm yeah. backstage getting the HD pictures on that brand new oh, camera. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Milk it. I'll be milking that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Hassan Mustafa, he's not... He's not... Uh, he's pulled out, is that right? Yeah, yeah, he's out. Sad. I, w I really wanted to see him go against these guys or these guys go against yeah. him. You know, sad, sad. I'm gutted by that, actually. So freaky for a bodybuilder. Is, is he the Super one with the massive freaky. legs, like really got big legs? Yeah, yeah. Really get some great shit. Chris Asipo's guy, yeah. Mm. It reminds me of, um, what was that Spanish bodybuilder? Was it Batista, was it? Paco, Chiros yeah. Yeah, same sort of physique. Yeah. Super freaky. He's pretty, he's prettier than uh, Paco was, though. Yeah. He's not got anything really missing. Well, he's yeah, just not really the things. <laughs> yeah. Super muscled, though. Crazy muscles. Uh, another French guy, Theo Leguria. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good. You I familiar with him? Off the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing this by myself. Um, <laughs> not at all. You're not familiar with for me? Not at all. Theo Leguria. So I hope I've got that name right. I, I, wish you, I, wish, I, wish, I wish you could pull him up, sorry. Yeah, you know what? Um, he, has, he has a great physique. I have heard of him, to be fair. He's a very good poser as well. Yeah, I have heard I think of him. He came fifth last year at the at this show. I saw him compete. He posed to uh, yeah, Prince of, Princes of the Universe by Queen. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a really, really, really good thing. Placed third in New York, I think, this year as well. Mm. Behind of the uh, Blessing. The oh, yeah, yeah. So he did, yeah. Blessing. Was it Justin Rodriguez? And then... Theo, I believe, was the top three. So, well done. Yeah. Okay, Rob Cannon from UK. Pro debut. Is it his pro debut? Yeah, I believe. Um, I know yeah. James Llewellyn put a picture of him next to James Hollingshead side tricep, and you know what? There wasn't that much difference. I know, obviously, he was closer to the camera, but um, you know, he did sort of. Uh, he's not far off. But he's heavily muscled. Picture, isn't really, really good. Mm -hmm. He's quite short, isn't he? Five eight, five nine. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. I know he turned pro in Spain, didn't he? Was it last year? Mm. Yeah, he's got um, he's got a lot of muscle to him, isn't he? Do you know who we're talking yeah. about, Femi? Rob Cannon from UK. Yeah, I've seen the um, comparison picture that you were talking about. Mm. The, the the one that Simon was saying with James or I've seen that picture. But apart from that, I never really followed the guy much. But he's good though. He, he's got some size on him. Actually. Do you think he could make top six? No, no, no. no. Probably not in this show. I no, think in a more, smaller lineup, if he brings a condition, no, no, then no. I, yeah, I, I, I think I think I think like, something like the Arnold. You got to have the lines. You got to have the shape, the symmetry yeah, yeah. to win an Arnold no. Classic. So you think about previous winners who have won. Oh yeah. You know, you got to sort of follow from there. Um, Joe, who are you taking as your dark horse? Dark horse, oof, probably Patrick Johnson, to be honest. Okay, okay. Yeah, I seen there's some pictures of Patrick today. Uh, no one's really talked about him, have they? But he's—I've uh, yeah. never seen him compete. Okay, he did the Arnold last year. Come fourth, did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah Gets in good condition, isn't he? Really dry. Yeah, yeah. Super. He's not missing anything either. Mm, where's, where's he from? US? No, Sweden or something yeah. like that. Yeah, but he's out in the oxygen gym. All right. Um, he's at the anabolic chicken. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, um, he's the other British guy doing the show. Um, oh, God, what's his name? He's bad for me. Big shoulders, white, bald guy. Right. Big shoulders, white, bald guy. That, that narrows it down to about... <laughs> A thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> Dean. 
What's he won? What's he? Uh, what's he yeah. Oh, yes, I know. Uh, Mark. Mark something. Um, was it? Yes, Mark. Um, what's his name? I have judged him a few times. I know who you're talking about. He got pro card recently, didn't he? Was it recently? What's his name? Mark. Um, no, not Mark Joyce. No, not Mark Joyce. Oh, okay. That's what it's... No. What is his name? Oh, sh- forget it. I'll, it'll, it'll come to me. It'll come to what me. are you talking about? You mean, are you talking about Dean White guy? Or not no, we're talking no. about the open classes. Yeah, the open classes. He's, I think he's coached by the condition coach. I don't know who that is. Um, the guy who's coaching Femi, Martin Winston. Not Femi. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, this going to really annoy me. Hang on, my camera should stay on. I'm gonna go have a look. Okay, so a, lot of people, a lot of people giving me sticks, Sai, because I said Mark Hector can wouldn't beat Andrew Jack. I'm waiting to hear your opinion on that comparison before the end of the show, sir. So. Uh, about say, about saying life. So Louis, Louis Breed. Oh, Lewis. Yes, I know Lewis. Um, I think he's doing it. Yeah, Lewis hasn't. You know what? I've judged Lewis a few times. He's got he's got a lot of muscle to him, but he hasn't got. To me, he hasn't got an IFBB shape. I mm. think he obviously wouldn't because he was the best in the class. But I don't think, I don't think he's he's quite he's quite blocky. He's got incredible legs. Mm-hmm. Uh, he competed against Tim about three years ago. Um, got a lot of muscle and he gets in great condition, but he hasn't got that shape of an IFBB yeah. pro. Don't get me. He's, he's very good, but. He'll get beaten by someone who's more symmetrical, with better lines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He gets in the he gets in crazy condition though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Razor sharp. Yeah. Um, right. That so that takes us to Martin Fitzwater. Do you believe all the hype that's going around about him? I do. I do. Yeah. I, do. I do. As a YouTube Joe, I do. Yeah. I do. Trust yeah. me. I do. I do. So when I was in it, Dallas, we went to a we had a gas meeting of, um, in the gas in the gas gym destination, and he was standing in front of me. I said I didn't have a clue who he was, and um, so it was only later on someone said, "Oh, that's Martin Fitzwater," and like I didn't have a clue who he was. So uh, he said well, he's coming to UK, so we'll introduce you. So Martin's coming to the gym. Um, I think they arrived Thursday from Heathrow. Mm-hmm. Him, Branch Warren. Uh, Michael from Gasp and their video guy. So um, that'll be coming to the gym hopefully Thursday and Friday. Obviously Friday for the deadlift challenge. But yeah, it'd be good to sort of um, get a sneak preview of Martin. But I've not really seen many pictures. I've obviously seen pictures from the Texas Pro, which I thought, yeah, he looked decent. Um, but I still think he needs more time to sort of get that maturity. Yeah. He's not missing anything though, which is good. No. I think he's a very well put together bodybuilder. But mm. again, will that sort of per, like perfection get lost in the lineup of freaky bodybuilders? Because yeah, it's not I think, I think they will go for a freak. Yeah, they will go. For I don't know though because we'll carry on with the lineup. But I just think when it comes to good condition, good flow, good structure, he might be the best middle ground of everything. Yeah, because mm. he brings full muscle bellies, good condition. He's yeah. symmetrical. And he's not missing anything really, but he's probably one of the smaller guys in the lineup, height and structure yeah. wise. He's only about five foot six. Yeah, I think that's going to hurt him. That's my only fear for him as well. I yeah. think he's with height in being the shorter guy. But listen, he, he came second in Texas. Yeah, Texas, yeah. So, yeah, Texas Pro. And one of two shots as well. Tall, guy, tall guys were there, so you never know. This guy trains, he trains hard and. I've seen a lot of his videos with Brett Wilkin and you know, there are some of the new guys coming up. I, I like that style. So let's see. Yeah, but a, t- a taller guy will always be a smaller guy, a taller, better guy. <laughs> yeah. It's it's just, be, yeah, but Steve wasn't at his best, was he? I know Steve's I don't good. Know. I don't know. I mean, he beat Quinton as well. He beat Quinton as well. Quinton was, yeah. yeah. Quinton is taller than him. So, yeah. yeah. I think... um. 
The problem with Steve is just he never makes drastic improvements. No, so he's, he's sort of, sort of like getting towards the end thing. of his career now, isn't he, Steve? Yeah. yeah. He could yeah. be like solid for like 10 years apparently on you know so um yeah. it's hard to make them improvements when you've been competing every year yeah so, so i think he's sort of maxed out amazing physique though yeah I've, to be i've never been a fan of steve kuko's physique never it's never really? sort of nothing pops to me nothing sort of stands no, out he's obviously very big and you know but i don't know if, i don't think i think he lacks sort of separation like the actual shape yeah uh, I, I don't i can't quite put my finger on it but um i don't know I hope he's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually been to my gym uh, a few times before he was, like, yeah. he was really big. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, Who's that next? goes uh, Mark Hector from UK. The man with all the hype around him. So I asked you a question about Mark just some few minutes ago before Jason yeah. came back. Now, people are giving me a lot of sticks that I'm saying Mark can beat. Andrew Jacks, but I know he can't. So he can or can't beat him. He can't. He can't beat Andrew Jacks, but Sai has seen Jacks in real life, and Sai knows Mark Hector to a degree. Yeah, so, I, I've known Mark. I mean, I I helped him about three years ago, now two and a half, three years. So he's obviously grown a lot since then. But uh, Mark, I mean, he's got a very crazy shape, structure, a tiny waist, humongous shoulders, cartoon esque character. Um, and he has made a lot of improvements since he last competed, what, two years ago, two and a half years ago. Um, will he yeah. beat Andrew Jack? Personally, I mean, I was with Andrew like a few days ago and the sheer size of Andrew, uh, even if he was close, I know he wasn't stripped off, but I saw him before Dallas stripped off. Uh, I was probably five foot away from him. And I think Mark's just, sorry, Andrew's just too dominating. Um, it's yeah, I know. I know Mark's wide, but Andrew's uh, he's probably like another foot wider. How tall is Mark? <laughs> Mark's about 5'11, I think. 5'10, 5'11. I think, five, five, ten, five, mm. I think Andrew's got about 20 30 pound on him. Yeah, I think. Mark put up a st- was he 272, I think, the other day. Hmm. Which is like twenty pounds lighter than Andrew in it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's what I was saying as well. But I've seen his recent updates, Mark Hector, and I love the shape and condition. Oh, he's very impressive. Very, I mean, very impressive. I love the I shape. I just think and... it reminds me of it's like Phil had said in his podcast. It reminds me of like a very Brandon Curry type physique. Yeah, big still flare, a bit, big light, a bit light light in the legs. Yeah. Not even so much the fact that the legs are small, it's just the clavicles are so wide mm. for his legs to look evenly match with them. It's just it's going to be very, very hard to get get to. Um, I think Andrew's going to beat Mark, so I think so. Obviously, Andrew's had a lot of momentum from the Texas Pro, and yeah. everyone's talking about him. I mean, judges won't ignore that because obviously it's, it's in their head, they're going to be like watching YouTube, yeah. they're going to be looking at the internet. And watching see Simon's face. recent back video with Andrew. Exactly, yes. <laughs> uh, did you see the video, that's, Joe? That's, had a, that's got me a lot of uh, new subscribers, it has. I'm going to put a link below, the Andrew Jackson back video. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not probably probably not being a bud, but obviously I've, I've, I met Andrew in New York, uh, sorry, in Vegas, and um, he is very impressive. Just in person, he's like very, very white. I mean, don't forget he's in contest condition, and a lot of people when they do get that lean, they sort of lose that fullness and size. But he's he's he was as big as a house. He was absolutely huge, yeah. walking around two hundred ninety pounds shredded. So um, you'll know, you'll know this side, but I just hope he hasn't because obviously he had his visa troubles. I hope he hasn't taken his foot off the gas for the show. Well, I asked him this. Um, I asked because I was obviously I was messaging him over and um I said, Look, um you, you definitely come in. He goes, Look, my visa's not sorted yet, but you know, I'm treating this as I'm competing, so okay. there's no difference to me if I am or if I'm not competing, I'm still training like I am. So um you gotta think you gotta bear in mind he's been dieting a long time since probably January, February. Yeah. So obviously he cut his pro guard March. So uh, it's a long time to be dieting for. By the yeah. time the Olympia comes here, yeah, it'd be more or less eleven months. Yeah. 
That's you true. know, you know yourself, Femi, to die for 11 months. <laughs> that's a long time. Well, you've never <laughs> done that, but 12 weeks was a long time. I know, I know. 11 months is crazy, actually. 11 yeah. months is crazy. Have you done that before, Sai? To die that? No, one? I've done. I've done. Like, I remember when I did. Uh, I did Mar January to March, qualified in March. Then the British finals were in November, so I had a few months off. Then I started back in July, August. So I had about three or four months off, but never dieted straight through. I just I don't feel like I can. I wouldn't want to be uh, doing that to my body. Yeah. So you think Andrew's gonna beat Mark and? Um, Martin, both of you. Yeah, I yeah. do. I do. Yep. Why do I, you think? Where do you think he beats Mark and um, Martin? Go on, Tim. You can. Um, with with Mark, as as I said when I spoke with some few people, I still think yes, Mark is a big guy as well. But just like I said, just the share, the size itself, he's he's bigger than Mark. And I think Andrew's look, the look he has to his physique right now, you know, a lot of people are really, a lot of people are really liking the way Andrew's look is, the, the muscle bellies and the arms, the structure, him being a tall guy, but he's still kind of like symmetrical with his height. So people are really liking that physique. With Martin, I'm sorry, Martin. It's just what Sean Ray experienced back in his day, being the smaller guy going against a lot of bigger it's guys. Still like Ronnie Coleman. It, it, it's, yeah, it's still Andrew Jack needs to come in really off, really yeah. off for Martin to beat him. He needs to come in really, really off. If not, I mean, I Mark's got the Mark's got the advantage. He doesn't have to fly over. Doesn't have to travel. Yeah, He's got no exactly. issues, so he can just come from Leicester, where he lives, to Birmingham, which is half an hour. Uh, yeah. Andrew's flying from Dubai. He lands Monday, so he's yeah. got f six days to sort of climatize. Which you know, you know, it's only a six-hour flight from Dubai anyway, so he's not going to cause that much trouble. Um, so yeah, he'll be back at the gym probably Tuesday if he lands Monday. I don't think it's going to affect him too much with the travel. Uh, George Farrer, he'll come in Wednesday. Obviously, Flex will come in Thursday. So he's going to have his team around him. Obviously, wow. we'll be there to sort of it help him out. Good. Yeah. The real the real question is, is Femi going to look small next to Andrew Jack? Of course. We're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out. We're going to, we're going to get him to do some uh, <laughs> little pump session. <laughs> Great question, Joe. Great question, Joe. So in a couple of years' time, my arms will be able to stick out. Femi, Femi will be the uh, Andrew Jack for the UK in a few years. Si, si saw his arms. He's got big arms as well. Si saw, I saw the video yeah. with you know, and Sai kept on talking about the bicep. That the bicep. I had him on calf, so I, um, <laughs> I did a calf pose down with him. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get a lot of people on calves, unfortunately. You yeah. get a lot of black guys on calves, definitely. I remember when I was squatting last week with Larry, Larry Wills, and he goes, I'm surprised you can get as low as you can with the size of your calves. <laughs> yeah, that is true, sir. That is true. Yeah, I think, uh, okay, so my top six. Uh, Have we finished with the lineup? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bloody won the. Yamamoto this weekend. Yeah. Uh, Dude, I, I, I like his, his story. I know, right? 20, 20, <laughs> 25 years old as well. I know, I know right? He I, could be a uh, top five, definitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is the one that I, I, he's my dark horse for. One, one thing I did want to mention as well was something Jose Raymond said because he was there in Texas and um, he said that because Andrew's oil whatever George Farrer and him were using, it made him stand out under the lights. Last yeah, like, year... It was like HD. Yeah. yeah. Last last year, Ian Valier was saying about how good he looked under those Texas lights. Do you think if the Arnold... Because the Arnold lighting last year was a bit shit. Hmm. Do we think if the lighting isn't perfect, that that could expose other some, some guys on condition? Yeah, potentially. I mean, I, I remember the Arnold stage last year. It was it was a, it was a big stage, wasn't it? It was a very big stage. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be in the same place this year. Um, it's hard to say, really. Um, 
it's, it's hard to say. But obviously, Andrew's got the advantage because obviously of his colour. He's you know, yeah. So, um, and looking from the Texas Pro, he, he did stand out because obviously his colour and his tan. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think being being black, he will stand out definitely. Uh, yeah. It will enhance his physique. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well. mm. But yeah, so top top one on top, top five. Top, top uh, I'm gonna give my top five. So I predict Andrew will win. Okay, we're starting from first then. Good man, sir. Good man. Good man. Andrew will win. Uh, James Hollingshead. I'm gonna give him second. Uh, I'm gonna give Vlad third. Okay. Okay, I agree. I agree. I said it. Vlad is dangerous. Mark Hector fourth. Mm-hmm. And Martin fifth. Okay, that's my top five. Mm. Mm. Go on for me. I'm going to go slightly different from Sai. Uh, are we going to write these down? We're going to see who's got them. See who's got the most okay. accurate one. We'll just, we'll just watch it. We'll just watch it back in. Um... Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go different from. Um... So you heard it. You heard it here first. A week mm-hmm. out. The predictions. <laughs> For me, I will the top two in Texas Pro. I'm picking them as top two again in this show. Okay. In the show, in the same order. Andrew and Martin, then James third, Mark fourth, and my dark horse Vlad fifth. Okay. Yeah. What What do you two think about the uh, sort of um, the war between Andrew and Martin? I mean, I know. I think it's good hype it's for the show. No one said anything super bad, right? Because because Andrew's not really said anything about it. He's not really no. coming back any comments. I know I know um, Martin on some few podcasts. He's sort of you bitching out, you bitching out. But I don't know if it's been misconstrued by other people. Yeah, sort of built up hype. But I it's don't think it's a bad thing. Nah, but it's going to be interesting because they're, they're both going to be at my gym. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> If dumbbell gets thrown at Mandrew yeah. Jack's head. <laughs> Get rid of it. Si, George Farron. Yeah. Speaking of your gym, si, Sean Ray and Brant Warren, are they two people that are in good terms with each other? Or... No. Do you know, do you know what? No. I, when, I was, when I was in Texas, yeah. When I was in Dallas. Sean said, Ray, he fights it. When I, when I was in Dallas, uh, I said to... Um, I said to Branch, could you get on with Sean Ray? He goes, no, he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's hence why I've not put Sean Ray in the seminar with Branch and Flex. So, Was um, a small portion of you actually just interested to see what would happen if you did? Yeah, I sort of, I sort of knew, but um, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd rather him say it. But um, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, obviously Sean's doing the meet and greet module on the Thursday, and I think... Branch will be there the Thursday night at the gym. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. <laughs> We're all pros here. They're all yeah, pros. Yeah. They're all pros. They're all pros. Why why does it why doesn't he like him? Do you know why? Is it because no of the Sean Roden thing? I was hoping to hear from you. I thought maybe you knew why. Yeah, I don't think um because I know I don't know if I can say this or not. Um I just think Sean has a quite a, a Marmite type personality, right? Yeah, so he's I've along with Sean, but he's uh he's very it's all about him, Sean. As long as you sort of yeah. you get around that. Yeah. Both, um, both, strong, both strong type personalities, so yeah. It's my way or no way. So I think so. Femi, top, you'll top. you'll get on with him, Femi. You'll get on with him. You both will actually. Sure? Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah, I will. I will. Yeah, I will. Top, the guy's, top the guy's five a, with me. He's a legend, you know what I mean? I mean yeah, of course. I mean when I first started training, I used to have Posters of Sean Ray in my bedroom. I know it sounds a bit gay, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was the one that when I used to first got into bodybuilding, like you know, doing the posing, I used to like copy his routines and picked up. I think even Flex, where he like used to copy his routines, pick up posing from Sean Ray. So well, can't, can't knock his physique. John Brown, right? So John Brown, yeah, and Chris Dickerson, yeah. yeah. So you can't you can't yeah. knock his physique if you look back at like early nineties. You know the guy was so, incredible yeah, physique. So, I'm I'm so glad Sai said this because I told Joe some few weeks back. I feel like a lot of people don't don't acknowledge Sean Ray 
I think yeah. because short, uh, Sean Ray was a, a very complete bodybuilder in my opinion. Well, but it was he got he got third. He's won an Arnold. He's won two Arnold Classics, like one officially. But yeah, he's, he's placed top. Th- he's placed in That's the top five, five Olympia like yeah. thirteen times. 13 placed times. Second, two. Placed twice. Um, twice is it 94, 96. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know, he's been very consistent. And I was watching a, a thing with Flex, Flex Wheeler about, you know, when he won his 93 Arnold Classic. And everyone yeah, says yeah. that's the greatest shape ever, ever anyone's seen. And obviously, as Flex got bigger and bigger, it's sort of his placings went down and down because he was chasing that size, chasing Ronnie Coleman, chasing Dorian. And towards the end, it was sort of a detriment to his physique. And mm-hmm. obviously, Sean Ray didn't chase that size game. And I mean, Flex sort of placed high then a few years he didn't place the top six at Olympia. Yeah. yeah. Um but Sean Ray was he was never off condition, he was always no. on point with condition. Sean Ray is the it's the original Dexter Jackson, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you can't knock Sean for that. You know, Thirteen Olympias, top five. No. Competing against Lee Haney, Dorian Yates and Ronnie Coleman. No, the three top, top shape. Top yeah. shape. Sean Ray. So you gotta pay him his dues. As much yeah. as people don't like him, um yeah. Oh, hey, enough about Sean. John, so, I'm going to start from five to one. So I think fifth place um, is going to be Mark Hector. Okay. Oh, Joe, really? You're yeah, like, fourth, like fourth place. Joe doesn't believe the hype, does he? He loves it. Not, don't believe the hype. It's just, not yet. I just, I think the comparison between upper body and lower body is going to be a bit more underwhelming than people are expecting that's all i just mm-hmm. think that the, the the judges are going to be expecting to be completely blown away and i hope they are i hope i'm blown away do you know what i mean because the potential is fucking incredible i'll never have that structure i'll never be able to have that type of physique ever and it's an amazing physique but i just think he might look a bit slight still in this lineup mm-hmm. fourth place i'm gonna go martin fitzwater just because the height thing, and I hope he comes in because he's the younger one of the younger guys as well. Um, third place, I'm gonna go Patrick Johnson. Oh, Joe, you I'm, really have faith in Patrick Johnson. You I know? do, I saw him compete <laughs> last year, he got fourth place. But as I, I hope he comes in, I, I yeah, he looks better, he looks better than he did this time at last year, and you know, he pushed. Samson and Nathan in some shots and obviously they were top two last year so it looked very very good but it's just because he doesn't have that big following I don't think a lot of people are talking about him um, do, you think, do, you think that, do you think that helps the, the follow having like a big social media following to, I think if people know who you are you're going to get looked at either way yeah so if you're on yeah you're going to have your eyes yeah 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 automatically if you're on, you're going to be looking at that person. Yeah. if you're on you're going to get placed where you should anyway if you're mm. off you're going to get placed where you should and but if they don't see you you might just not get placed because nobody really knows who you are um but second going, place, going, to, go, going to the show you know like the hypes around andrew jack mark hector yeah. james hollingshead and martin so they're the yeah. top four yeah. people talking about and that's and what then, people will be looking at yeah but then if one of them guys are off and they might get penalized for that mm. more so than someone hype. who's just cruising into the to the show i think mm. I think I think Andrew is going to play second. I don't think he's going to be as good as he was in Texas. Okay. So, and uh, do you think he's he's going to be sort of um, not as hard, or I think he might look a bit just fatigued. I think mm-hmm. eleven months of dieting is going to catch up to someone <laughs> at some point, whether it's now or whether the Olympia. I don't know, mm. but Interesting. you know, yeah, you, you and I think right, yeah, good point. and I think. James is going to win. He's fresh. He's going to be bigger than he's been before. You know, it's his first pro show of the year. First pro show of the year. Everybody else has competed apart from Mark. Um, okay, let's think... put this. Let's let's put this yeah. hypothetical. What if 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 James Hollingson, Hollingshead's at his best and Andrew yeah. Jack at his best for the Arnold Classic? Andrew, 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 Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. I, I picked him to win, hoping he will come in. Even if he comes in slightly off from Texas Pro, I don't think it should be too off. But I think yeah, I know when I was in the last gym last week, with me, he was sending daily updates to George Farah and yeah. Flex. Yeah. The other yeah. room, 
sort of um so i know who's sending so they are they're on his case they're on his ass every day yeah. um i do think pose for pose james will win if they're both at their 100 percent. but i think the poses that andrew wins oh he blows everyone else away completely whereas the other mm. shot the other shots are comparable even though james might win for example mm. Because you know condition density of the muscle. Obviously, he's not going to be as full and a big human being. But yeah, but don't forget at the Texas probe, they said uh, Andrew wasn't. He was only like eighty percent, seventy five percent. So if you can, if you come in, oh, well, it, it was a last minute thing. Isn't it? I believe that. I know, but it's his hundred percent, isn't it? Because he's never been better than that. True. True. Yeah, but he was at that eighty-five percent at that time, compared to the eight hundred percent he will be. But if they push him too far, he might not look as good. He might look stringy. So, yeah, but I don't think uh, when I, I trained with him, he, he wasn't stringy. I doubt it. Yeah, I'm playing devil's advocate. That's all. I don't but, think he'll be stringy. Yeah, Andrew Jackson. It's gonna, it's one thing's for sure. It's going to be a good show. A very interesting lineup. Uh, I yeah. think it's definitely going to live up to the hype. And yes. I, for one, are really looking forward to it. I've not been to a pro show. Oh, God, I can't remember last pro show I went to. Probably the Olympia, was... wasn't it? You said 2014. Yes, you got Ben with me. Joe, you're... <laughs> he's on it. It was the 2014 Olympia with Kai Green. Too... And... I've had too many stimulants today, I think. Kai Green and uh, Phil Heath, yeah. Yeah, so it's mm. eight years since I've been to a pro show. That was a good Olympia. 2014. It was the 50th yeah. anniversary Olympia, so it was a good year. Yeah. Yeah. And I will be Bill Pearl just passed Olympia. away as well. Sorry? Bill Pearl just passed away today. Did he? Really? Oh. Yeah. Bill Pearl, the guy with the. He must um, have been about 93, 94. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was he? Oh, yeah. Shame. But, uh, but no, I think that's going to be my top five. This might be subject to change, but I think the video, the pictures we've seen at this point, I think. When when I see Andrew walk through the door next Monday, I might shit my pants. And think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very. Can, can we uh, can we edit the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's sometimes yeah, you're supposed to like it looks smaller when you diet in your clothes, and you're supposed to yeah. look like. But he just looks like he's obviously I've I've only met him a couple of times, and he just looks like he's he's an off season bodybuilder to me. Yeah, the size it's it's humongous. Just, it's just, it's humongous. He's huge. He's very. That, I I just think that freaky. Factor is 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 it to stand out? Yeah. That, for mm -hmm. me, that's why I picked him to win. Great lineup. But I won't be. Do surprised. you think? Do you think because James and, and Mark are polar opposite types of physiques? Do you think whoever wins, the rest of the top five will change? Do you mean if In Mark idea. wins? You mean if Mark Hector wins, will they and will reward Andrew Jack because they're sort of no? Like if Andrew was to, if in my lineup, if Andrew was to win, do you think they'd yeah. put Mark Patrick Second. and the other full black muscle belly guys in that <laughs> five? Then? Potentially, yeah. yeah it's true though. Yeah, yeah. Pattern, right? Yeah. Because apples and James Hollingshead wins, yeah. that means Martin will come second and Vlad yeah. will come third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, potentially. Well, We'll have to wait and see. It's a very, very good show. That's all I can yeah. say. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited. stay tuned. We're going to see who's going to win the 2022 Arnold Classic UK. Who do you think is going to win it? Who's going to take the title? Drop them um, in the comments. See next week. Yeah, drop the comments at the link below. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll see you Thank soon. You.